Hello guys, in this video we're gonna learn about parallel lines and perpendicular lines. Okay, we're gonna know the difference between them and then we're gonna find out how to write an equation of a line that passes through certain point and is either parallel or perpendicular to a given line. Okay, so let's start with the parallel lines. If two lines, let's say these are two lines, I got pink and yellow lines. So we got two, uh, two lines in the same plane and they are parallel if they are parallel if their slopes are equal to each other or vice versa. Like if two lines have same slope, that means they are parallel to each other in this plane okay and then they can ask you question in different ways but most commonly they ask you write an equation of a line that passes through a point let's say we are going to write a uh, equation of a line that passes through point negative 2 and 11 and is parallel to this line which is y is equal to negative x plus 5 okay so they gave us one equation and we need to find another equation which is parallel to this given equation and that passes through this point these points okay so let's start with that so we're going to follow three steps over here so step number one is so first step is we're going to find the slope of this equation which is parallel to this and as you know if this line is parallel to this given line then their slopes are equal so from this equation what is the slope of a line and we can easily say and let's compare it it compare it with the our like standard equation which is y is equal to mx plus b so this is slope intercept form right so if we look carefully the slope of this given line m is equal to negative 1 and the equation we are going to find that also have the same slope because both are parallel okay so we find the slope and second step is so this is step number one so step number two is so step number two is find the y intercept so we're gonna like we are trying to find this b over here so this is our y intercept okay so we're going to use the given point which is negative 2 and 11 and find the value of b because we know y from here we know x we know m and we can solve it for y okay so let's do this so y from the given point is 11 and slope we already got is negative 1 and the value of x is negative 2 and we are trying to find the value of this b over here let's do some algebra over here so we got 11 is equal to 2 plus b and if we subtract 2 from both hand sides uh, this gives us b is equal to 9 okay now third step is just to write the equation okay step three is write the equation so we know the standard equation is y is equal to mx plus b so we're gonna write y is equal to m is a negative one so we got a negative x and b here is a nine so plus nine so this is the equation of line that passes through this point and is perpendicular to this given line okay so step one find the slope step two find the uh, y-intercept and step three just write down the equation like plug in the numbers we already know all right let's do one more example for parallel lines like how to write equation of a line when the point is given and uh, uh, when the line passes through certain point and the second equation is given all right so second example we got uh, we got point which is 1 and 7 and this equation which passes through this point is perpendicular to the line which is negative 6x plus y is equal to negative 1. Hmm, looks a little different. So what we're going to do, we're going to rewrite this in our slope intercept form. Like So our goal is to make this equation looks like 
y is equal to mx plus b then we can easily find the slope okay so what we can do if we add 6x on both hand sides what we got we got this will cancel out so y is equal to 6x minus 1 and if we compare this equation with the standard form that tells me the slope of the equation is equal to 6 okay so that was our first step so second step was find the slope uh, not sorry not the slope find the y intercept so what we're gonna do so we're gonna plug in we're gonna use this point and plug in the value y and x here from this point okay so y is 7 equal to m is 6 we just got and x is 1 in our case plus b and if we subtract 6 from both hand sides you can get your b so what did i do so cancel this out so this gives me therefore b is equal to 1 so we know y we know x we know m we know b so we can rewrite we can write the equation of line that is perpendicular to this line so y is equal to mx plus b so y is equal to m we already got is 6 x and b we just found is 1 so this is the equation of a line that is parallel to this given line and that passes through these two points okay and you can check it too like if we plug in this point this equation will hold Let, let's do that so if x is 1 okay so y is equal to 6 into if x is 1 plus 1 so that gives me 7 y is 7 that's that's what we ha have in this point x is 1 y is 7 so this equation is right so that that's how you can find the equation uh, using uh, the point and the slope okay if the lines are parallel now let's go over perpendicular lines okay so when two lines you know intersect and makes an angle of 90 degree as it's over here okay so then those two uh, lines are perpendicular okay and when lines are perpendicular let's say we got this yellow and pink line these two lines in this plane same plane are perpendicular that means their slopes are so their slopes are negative reciprocal of each other negative reciprocal so they are negative reciprocal or let's say the slope of line is m1 and the slope of pink line is m2 and when you multiply them the answer is negative 1 that's another way to find it for example let's say the uh, the yellow line slope is 5 the then the negative reciprocal of 5 is a negative 1 over 5 okay and if you multiply them you will get negative 1 so that tells me these two lines are perpendicular like if you find the product and it's a negative 1 then those two lines are perpendicular to each other so one more time two lines uh, in the same plane are perpendicular if there's if their slopes are negative reciprocal or if the slopes are negative reciprocal then those two lines are perpendicular so we're gonna we're gonna solve the couple of problems in this case so same thing like write an equation write an equation of a line that passes through this point 8 and 3 and is perpendicular I'm gonna use the symbol of perpendicular like this so 8 and 3 and it's perpendicular to this line so y is equal to 4x minus 7 so we are trying to find a line so one line is given we are trying to find a line that is perpendicular to this one and passes through this point so same rule what we're going to use so first step was find the slope so from here let's say the slope of this line is m1 and it is equal to 4 
So from the formula, from this rule, the slope of the line we are trying to write the equation is m2 is negative reciprocal of 4, which is negative 1 over 4. So we got the slope, and now we need to find the y-intercept. So y is equal to mx plus b. We are trying to find the value of this b. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to plug in x and y and our m over here and solve it. So y is y is 3 okay and is equal to slope is negative 1 over 4 and x is 8 plus b 4 times the 1 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 so therefore we got therefore we got 3 is equal to negative 2 plus b and if we add 2 on both hand side this will cancel out Therefore, we got b is equal to 5, okay. So, we got, we got slope and we got y-intercept. Now, just write the equation. So, keep the y as it is and m is negative 1 over 4x and b is 5 plus 5. So, this is the equation that is perpendicular to this given equation and passes through these two points okay and we can we can check it too if you want to if we plug in x over here equal to 8 let's do it y is equal to negative 1 over 4 into and x is 8 plus 5 so 4 times 1 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 so negative 2 plus 5 is positive 3 and that's what we have over here so this is the right equation okay so first step is find the slope find the y intercept and then just plug in in your standard equation let's do one more example then we'll wrap the video so we got an equation that passes through 4 and 1 and is perpendicular to this line so y is equal to 8x plus 9 okay so first step is slope so slope is going to be negative reciprocal of this value which is negative reciprocal means 1 over 8 so we got the slope which is basically your m now let me rewrite it again so y is equal to mx plus b second step is find this b over here the y intercept okay so plug in x and y value so y is y is 1 here is equal to negative 1 over 8 that's our slope m and x is 4 multiply by 4 plus b okay 4 times 1 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 so therefore we got 1 is equal to negative 1 half plus b so if we add negative 1 half on both hand sides we got 1 half negative 1 half plus 1 half plus b so these two will cancel out okay so 1 plus 1 half is basically 3 halves right 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 so 3 half so that is your b so now plug in your b and slope in this equation you will get the equation of your line so y is equal to m was negative 1 over 8 so we got negative 1 over 8 x plus b is 3 over 2 so 3 over 2 so this is the equation of line that passes through these two point and is perpendicular to this line okay and if you want you can check if this point hold you can do it plug in x is equal to 4 that gives me negative one half so basically three half minus one half is one half oh, sorry one so let me do it here so so y is equal to negative one eight and x is four plus three over two so four times one is four four times two is eight so this is basically three half minus one half which is equal to 3 minus 1 over 2 2 over 2 gives you 1 
that's y value here so when x is 4 y is 1 this equation holds so this is the right equation okay so that's the way you can write uh, the equation of a line when it passes to a certain point and is either parallel or perpendicular to a given line okay and we'll we'll work on a couple of more example we can i'm gonna make a video that's where they just give you a couple of points and then they ask you write the equations and then they ask you tell if those equations are parallel or perpendicular the only thing is you need to use those points to find the slope using this formula you know y2 minus y1 like change in y value over x2 minus x1 change in x value which is basically rise over run so you'll get your slope in this way and then you're gonna plug in your slope and any of those point in this equation to find your uh, y intercept and then plug into your standard equation which is y is equal to, sorry slope and intercept form equation y is equal to mx plus v to find the equation and if you compare and then you find second equation and compare their slopes if slopes are equal to each other that means they are they are uh, parallel and if the product of the slope is negative one that means they are perpendicular because their slopes are res negative reciprocal all right thanks for watching the video guys please share and subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss any other video. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.